Good day, everyone. Les here from BG Trading. Hope you are well. Today is March 17, 2023. This is a market update, SPASX 200. I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts on the market and why we are not taking any position at the moment. Okay, so let's have a look. I just want to remind you this isn't a financial advice, it's just us from BG Trading sharing with you how we apply our strategies to know when to buy and when to sell stocks, how we set up targets, how we analyze macroeconomics, how we avoid buying stocks at the former area and much more all in this channel. So if you like, please subscribe and also like to invite you to become a member of our free Facebook community by Grow and Sell Strategy for Share Traders. A lot of valuable content on this community. Okay, so now let's jump straight into understanding a little bit what's happening with the market. So we uh, essentially we are not uh, currently uh, making any entries in the market and that's because we believe the market is weak. Uh, obviously, just needed to look at, into the chart formation to see that the market has started to degrade. Uh, early this week, I put a, a, a video analysis about the macroeconomics and the signs that are showing me that the market is still set to keep falling in the short term. So if you haven't missed the video, it's in there. It's our YouTube channel. Just make sure uh, I'm going to put the link at the, uh, right here at the top. So, um, so essentially what's happening here uh, with uh, all the ads that has been uh, given by uh, Federal Reserve and also by, uh, by some uh, central banks, some bailouts in the banks, uh, the bank season are really fragile. That has been uh, uh, showed all through last week and this week uh, with, uh, uh, first of all, Silicon Valley Bank. And then uh, last night, actually, we just had another problem with the First Republic uh, Bank also in treble. Um, obviously, now other banks have sort of a put together a bailout and other banks have sort of a rescue, but it, it, that shows how fragile is the current banking system around the world. The, the Fed has been essentially pretty much printing money on the short term to actually uh, uh, allow those banks to uh, keep servicing, keep uh, operating. But we have uh, the SVB Bank. Uh, the Credit Suisse Bank, and then now the First Republic Bank. So three banks. Now, all we need is another bank or two to, to, to be in trouble. And I think uh, not even uh, not even those bailouts will uh, keep the the neg- uh, the fear out of the market for uh, for a little while. Now, gold stocks for us is the the stocks that are uh, our favorite stocks at the moment. So that's pretty much what we're holding, and a few other uh, stocks, but uh, very small positions. Um, our larger position is in gold, and our larger position is in cash also. So like gold and cash, and then we're waiting to see what's happening. First thing, uh, I'm actually looking at this chart, and I see how those red candles on a hickey notch, as you can see here, are so stiff. Uh, those red candles are actually showing the market's gain momentum towards the downside. So there's no uh, signs of reversal, despite we saw last night a rally, a temporary rally on uh, on a NASDAQ and the, S- uh, the all European and US market. Australian market's very weak and mostly generated by obviously the weakening in the banks now, but also the commodities. The commodities tend to underperform, tend to, to, uh, to, do, uh, to perform purely during contraction of, uh, times. And that's exactly what we fo- we're facing now. So it wouldn't surprise me, I don't want to be pessimistic here, but it wouldn't surprise me if we, uh, in a very short term, see the market falling all the way down to uh, October and uh, June lows. Uh, 5,000, uh, like 6,500 sort of a level. Uh, hope, ho- hopefully that doesn't happen. But at the moment, what I'm looking at, uh, whether we see any signs of reversal uh, in, on, a, on a candle chart and we see nothing really strong volumes on the downside and uh, very, very light volumes on the upside. And normally when the market's opening, we've seen the market open on the green and close down, uh, you know, enhances the downside momentum. You see, if you're looking 
if you apply our strategy, BGS20, you will see that at the moment uh, the whole market is trading at what we call technically a discounted price, but uh, which obviously offer for the long term a um, I, I'm, I'm interesting entry position. But for the short term, we could well see a further uh, degradation on the share on the, on the overall index until we see a reversal. I wanted to see a reversal, a strong uh, a strong like a reversal when 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 the whole index goes down really deep and then uh, and and ends up closing um, on a green with a very high volume. That's what I'm looking for at this uh, chart formation, and I haven't seen that yet. Next week, the Fed meeting uh, uh, will potentially. And most likely will reflect another uh, high on interest rates, okay? And uh, provided that uh, now the Fed found a way to sort of bail out banks that allows them to keep with this very tight monetary policy until inflation is controlled. So, uh, look, things are not very promising next week, but we never know. So until we see what's happening next week, it's pure speculation. We rather have a confirmation first, and then make our uh, next entries together with our VP members in the market. Okay. So now, um, just to finalize that, uh, we'll see what happened tonight and the next couple of days. But the big thing, the big question is what's going to happen on the twenty second uh, night here in Australia when the Fed meets to, uh, to decide what's going to happen with the interest rates. Okay. In the meantime, we're just holding what we have. Uh, and cash, and then uh, we're gonna make our entries once we uh, once see this reversal. Hope that was uh, valuable. Let us know what you think. Put it in the comments below, and um, share this video with someone as well. Help us grow, growing our community. Thank you very much, and have a fantastic weekend. The whole idea when we designed BG Trading BGS Twenty Strategy was to use only a set number of indicators to make it simple and clear to understand and to be able to apply our KPIs very easily and very effectively. So you don't have to be any Wall Street smart person to be able to apply those strategies. We really hope this course will help you to make better decisions and make successful trades. See you in the course.